Hello sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke. And today I'm here with my brother Jim and we are going Hi, to... Hi everybody. We're going to first quickly talk about a little college football because that's what's going on right now. That's the happening thing. And then we're going to talk a little premier soccer, which I know everybody is anxious to hear about. I'm anxious to hear what you want to have to say about the Premier League myself. So anyway, first we're going to, uh, Jim has, he's made his picks for all of the college football bowl games up to this point and, and beyond this. And we're going to quickly recap his record and then we're going to get his take on the college football playoff and who he thinks is going to be in the national championship and why. Uh, well, see, right now, Bob, I'm at 10 and 8. I'm not really doing as well as I thought. But uh, I got a couple games going on right now. They're going my way so far. Um, so we'll see what happens. But, you know, right now, 10 and 8, I'm not too confident. Okay, and how about those, um, how about the four playoff teams? The, the college football playoff, yes. Well... I, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go with um, LSU in their game, okay. uh, beating uh, Oklahoma, and then I think Clemson is going to beat Ohio State. I don't think that game's going to be close. I think Clemson is going to win that game rather easily. Right. Um, and then in the championship, I can't wait to see uh, LSU play Clemson. I do think that will be a close game, although I do think that LSU will come out on top. I think Joe Burrow is uh, the best quarterback uh, in the country. And obviously winning the Heisman, people think he's the best player in the country. And um, he's certainly shown that so far this year. Okay. So, yeah. And basically... I now Jim knows more about college football than I do. He watches a little more, is a little more um, up on it. But based on what I do know, and I love Ohio State, I think I would pretty much go with the picks that that he just made. I think that LSU should beat um, Oklahoma, and um, and I have to admit that from what I've seen of Clemson and heard about Clemson, and Clemson, I think probably plays a tougher schedule i would think that um clemson probably should beat ohio state so i'm surprised you're going against the big 10 yeah i mean you i know, mean they don't call you big 10 bob for nothing that's right i love the big 10 i am a huge fan of the big 10 as a matter of fact we have the penn state game on right now but yeah i don't i just don't see it happening um and i want to mention also we are You'll notice that you have never seen this background before. We are on location in on Ex location, in, yes, in Exton, Pennsylvania, at Jim's house. So we came down to visit, and so I figured this is the perfect time to put this video together. Perfect time to watch Penn State. Yeah. So now we're going to talk a little Premier League soccer. We want to get that in there just for those soccer fans out there because I know that the most popular sport really worldwide is soccer. Have you, have you, uh, have you, had, have you talked about the Premier League yet? I have not. Oh, I have okay. not said anything right. about the Premier League. Right. So I did notice, though, that um, it, when they list the standings in the Premier League, they put wins first, then ties, and then lo and then losses. So that's kind of, but it, I mean, really, it makes more sense to do that. Yes, it does because you get points for wins and ties, and then you right. don't get any points for the losses. Like when the hockey, back when the hockey used to um, have ties, they would always list the ties third. So um, that was um, you might be able to hear. Jim's daughter in the background. She's yeah, talking. see, she's calling for Elsa and Anna. She's a big Frozen fan. And, <laughs> and unfortunately, Dad is the voice of Elsa and Anna. So when she says, Elsa and Anna, come here, that she really is calling for Dad. So anyway, but, so that was one thing I noticed about the Premier League. And also, we, we know that um, with the Premier League, um, 
they, um, the, in, 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 in soccer in general, they don't stop the clock when the ball goes out of bounds. No, no, they don't. So that's and that's screwing you up still, isn't it? Right, that is because <laughs> because nobody knows how much time is left except the referee, and then they tack the time on at the end. So if there was five minutes of balls being out of bounds, then for five minutes there's like five minutes of extra time at the end of the game, which is kind of crazy. Yes, yes. So yeah, that's kind of weird, but. Um, um, so, I, and also, why don't you talk a little about the uh, eliminating the last place? Oh, yeah, yeah. well, the, you know, the, the 12th place is the relegation. Uh, so, like, if you lose, if you finish in that place, you go down to the, um, to the English Football League, the EFL, and that's a different league. So you drop down if you're that, and then um, one of those teams gets to move up. So right. you, you, want to, uh, you want to avoid uh, that. So the top four teams in the Premier League, they go on to the Champions League. Right. And uh, they, they play a little tournament with some of the other leagues um, throughout Europe. And then they have what they call Europa, and they will take the fifth place team. And that fifth place team will make Europa as well. Um, the sixth and seventh place teams, I guess there is a scenario where sixth and seventh can even get into Europa, depending on um, the finish in the Premier League. But uh, that's pretty much what it is. There is no playoffs. That's the other thing that Bob uh, right. has a hard time with. Right. You know, when the season's no over, it's over. If you no. are in first place, you won. <laughs> right. So right. You, you do have a little bit of a, a, a hard time with that as well, Bob. But um, yeah. I mean, baseball used to be like that way, way back when there was nine teams or ten teams in each um, yeah. league. Yeah. Um, the, just the top team at the end of the season was the winner. Um, and I can see it that way, but I can also see the, um, the, the need for a playoff system where, all, where the top teams in either different divisions mm -hmm. or the top so many teams have a playoff. But um, so you know. so, Bob. Who 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 do you follow in the in the English Premier League? Well, um, right now I'm following Nottingham. Nottingham. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just because the uh, <laughs> what was it? I the, sheriff, <laughs> the sheriff of Nottingham. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. That was All right. <laughs> mm, all so right. yeah. So I'm going with Nottingham. We have already established the fact that Real Madrid is not. In yes, the Premier don't don't talk about that, Bob. I told you, don't talk about them. They're in the Spanish league. <laughs> they are in the. There's a Spanish league. There's an Italian league. Exactly. There's the English league. So yeah. So, so I intend to in the future do my homework and try to um, every once in a while put a video out talking about the Premier. English Soccer League. Now they're halfway through the season. League. Yeah. So you've got so, half a season left right. um, to, to figure out uh, something else about Nottingham except for their sheriff. <laughs> right. And, um, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then we could have our own little like men in blazers thing going on. That would be really cool. Yeah. Come the end of the season, if you and I could talk about, you know, Leicester City and Liverpool and Chelsea and Arsenal and hopefully Tottenham as uh, right. that's my team um, right you know maybe that they're in fifth right now uh, they're trying to get into fourth place in the uh, champions and get a spot in the Champions League but we'll see what happens they got half a year left right so so uh, I think that's about all I've got for right now um, if that's all I have all right so remember subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment below or a thumbs down, thumbs up if you liked the video or didn't like the video. And then a comment below. Um, and for right now, I think that's all we got. So it's going to be Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, for Jim Zolke, also signing off.